Yo yo, welcome to lesson 50. Today, we're going to learn how to add dynamic routing to our Pokédex app. So that way, we can click into each Pokémon and get more details about each one. We can do this very easily by using Next.js. So before we do anything, let's port over the code from our React app over to the Next.js app that we have created in the previous lesson. You may have noticed that the page looks a bit off, and that's simply just because we didn't add Bootstrap to our application. So in Next.js, we actually don't have an index.html. But if you remember from the previous lesson, we do have this file underscore app.js. So if you click into it, this is basically the core of our application. So in Next.js, we can add Bootstrap directly inside the JavaScript code. So inside this file, just do an import, type head with a capital H, type from, and then quotation marks, next slash head, and then end it with a semicolon and hit enter. And now in line five, hit enter, and now type head with capital H and close it. And now inside here, we can add the link tag for Bootstrap. So go back to the index.html and now copy the link that gives us Bootstrap. And now go back and now paste it inside the head. And right now, everything is highlighted in red. If you hover your mouse over, it's going to say JSX expression must have one parent element. So we can either wrap everything inside a div like this and that will solve our problem. Or if we don't want the div, we can get rid of the div and keep the tags itself. And this will act as a parent that holds these two elements. And now uh, right click and format the document. And now in line five, remove the semicolon and add a parenthesis and wrap everything here. And now hit save. And now everything looks as expected. So if you remember, we have this pages folder, which handles the routing for our application. So index.js is basically the slash route and vincent.js is the slash vincent route. And now if we want to add a route for each Pokemon, we can create a folder inside the pages and let's call it Pokemon's slash square bracket ID and close square bracket. So now we have a new route slash Pokemon's slash ID, where basically each Pokemon will be identified by their unique ID. Then inside here, we can create a new file and let's call it index.js and hit enter. And we call it index.js because if you remember, browsers usually look for the index.html file. And in Next.js, instead of creating an HTML file, we create a .js file. Cool. So now inside this file, let's create a component. So do export default function and let's call it Pokemon. Open the parentheses and open the squiggle brackets. And now let's just return p tag that just says Pokemon. End it with a semicolon and hit save. And now let's go back to index.js. And inside the card component for each Pokemon, let's make it so that the title is clickable. So let's add a link tag here and close it and copy this and put it underneath it. And now let's wrap this h5 inside an a tag. And now inside the link, we can do href equals, and for this href, we can pass an object. So open the squiggle brackets and open the squiggle brackets again. So we can pass a key called path name. And now for the path name, we can do Pokemon's slash square bracket ID and close square bracket. And the next key is query. And here we can pass it an object which contains the query. So in this case, we wanna pass it the ID. So we can do ID and then colon. And here we need to provide the ID for the Pokemon. So we can do props dot ID. And currently this props object does not have an ID. And I also forgot one closing squiggle bracket. Um, so now scroll down and inside the app, here we create the card. So here we can also pass the ID property. So do ID equals squiggle brackets. And if you scroll down, we created a function called get ID from Pokemon. And this takes in a Pokemon object. So let's copy that. And here we can just paste it here because there's a Pokemon object and we're grabbing the ID from it. And if we want to clean up our code, we can create a variable for this. So let's do const ID equals get ID from Pokemon. And now let's update our code to use this ID. And now let's update this URL and let's use the ID as well. And now our code looks a lot cleaner. So now hit save and now let's go back to the browser and now let's click Ivysaur. And now this takes us to Pokemon slash two. And as you can see, we see our Pokemon component here. Cool. So now the last thing that we have to do is to fetch the data for that specific Pokemon. So in this file, let's add this import use router. So that way we can get the ID parameter from the URL slash router. So now add these two lines of code where basically here we're using the router and here we're grabbing the ID field from the router.query. So after the Pokemon, add a space and add squiggle brackets. And let's put the ID here and let's hit save. Now let's go back to the browser. And here, as you can see, we see Pokemon number two, and this matches up with the URL. Cool, now go back to the code. So now we have all the data that we need to create this page. So basically now all we have to do is add an effect. And here we're making a fetch call. If we just provide the ID of the Pokemon, we get the specific information about that Pokemon. If you want more details, just read the documentation from that API. And once we have the Pokemon, we're gonna update our Pokemon state variable and also is loading state. 
And we only want to trigger this fetch when the router is ready. So we just do router dot is ready. And just to be safe, we're also checking that if the router is not ready, we're just going to return early. The reason for this is that the router could be null, and that means we won't be able to get a proper ID. So now it's up to your imagination to create this page. If you want, you can copy what I have. Just a quick note, I added a back button that takes us back to the slash route. So now if you hit save, and now let's go back to the page. And here I got an error. It's saying use state is not defined. Uh, so let's go back to the code. And let's scroll up. And we're basically just missing some imports. So let me just put that in. And let's hit save again. And now let's go back. And here, as you can see, you see Ivysaur. Now we can click back. And let's click Charizard. And here you see Charizard. And here I got the weight of Charizard. Cool. That's it for this lesson. Hopefully you learned something new. And I'll see you in the next lesson.